Hey, welcome back. We're in 1 Samuel chapter 30, verses 7 and 8 today for our devotional time. We're going to read the text, think about it a little bit together, then we'll pray. But let's take a look at it. Then David said to Abiathar the priest, Ahimelech's son, please bring the ephod here to me. And Abiathar brought the ephod to David. So David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for you shall surely overtake them and without fail recover all. David has been in the land of the Philistines for just about a year and a half. Uh, The Philistines are marching against Israel. God does not want David to be fighting Israel, but one of the Philistine kings does. And God works it out so that the Philistine kings say, nope, he's not coming with us. Absolutely not. We don't trust him. And so the king of Gath, he sends David away, says, you can't come. Sorry. David goes back home to Ziklag, and when he gets there, the Amalekites have already invaded and taken away their wives, their children, their spoil, burned the city. So David and his troop is is now trying to figure out what to do. They've been weeping and carrying on uh, mightily because they are out of their minds with sadness because of what has happened. So what does David do? So here's where we kick into the text where we are now. David is going to inquire of God before he does anything else, before he takes any action, Uh, He is going to check in with God and see what he should do. So he has the resources there, the the priest, and he prays, and God answers in a way, and he says, yes, go up, yes, you will will recover everything. So what principle is here for us today? Well, you know, the principle here is that when there's a giant emergency, when there's a cataclysm, when there's a crisis in your experience, what do you do? Uh, Sometimes we tend to become high strung and, and nervous and, and, and all worn out and we, we, we just want to leap up and do something immediately, the first thing to do is take a deep breath, hold on, and what we need to do is do exactly what David does. He, he encourages his faith in God. He, he, he strengthens himself in God. He checks in with God and he's going to find out the best he can, will God give an answer? Now, God doesn't always answer us as speedily as we wish or in the most clearest way that we wish he would, but God answers prayer. And so we first, we check in with God. So here's what David does, the very thing. He inquires of the Lord, shall I pursue? And the answer comes back, yes, pursue. By the way, you're going to get everything back. And so that sets up the basis that performs the, uh, the foundation for what's going to come next. So when we have a crisis, when you have an emergency, uh, what do we do? We are Christians. Christ is our king. Christ is in the heavenly sanctuary, according to the book of Hebrews today. He wants us to pray, send our prayers up. He will send back answers, and God delights in answering prayer. God delights in showing us what he would have us to do. We don't make the decision for him. We don't guess what his will is. We seek his will, and he may give it in a very clear sense. It may be that it won't come in a clear sense. And so we we look for God's guidance, and then we act. The way to approach it with God is check in with God first, see what happens. God will be our leader, but we have to let him be our leader. Did you catch that? So let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, We say that you're our leader, and many times, however, we get out ahead of you. We're not really paying attention to your guidance. Let us help us, Lord, to seek for your guidance. Let us seek for it, and then, Lord, you will give it in your goodness, in your way, in your providential way of leading, or even maybe very directly. Uh, Any which way, Lord, we we look to you. You be our leader. You be our God. Thank you for uh, telling us this is what you'd like us to do, is to check in with you first. So help us to do that, we ask in Jesus' name, amen. So when a challenge comes, when an emergency comes, when we want God's counsel, which really should be all the time, right? Let's inquire of the Lord and see what he has to say. See what answer he gives. How could any harm come from that? God be with you today in all that you do.